What's going on everybody? I'm back with another high risk coin busher video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a 20 million dollar buy-in. And they're letting us bring our own quarters from previous games. We got about 500 of them. Well actually 550 because they gave us an extra 50 quarters since I did the 20 million dollar buy-in. So anyhow we're going to be putting 500 quarters in there at one time using that skill stop button. So let's go ahead and start putting the quarters in. We're going to stop the skill stop about right there. Then we're going to let the skill stop or the pusher slide out just a little bit. Then we'll load it up with a bunch more quarters. So anyhow, leave me a guess in the comments and let me know what you think is going to happen whenever I release that skill stop button. I've tried this like a bunch of times before and every time I've done this it seems to be working out pretty well. And the other day I put a thousand quarters in there at once. If you haven't seen that video, I highly suggest you check it out after you're done watching this one. It was incredible. We got all those towers to fall down like pretty much on the first or second push. Maybe the third push, but still, it was amazing. So I will link that video down in the comments. So after you're done watching this one, go and check that video out. So we probably got about let's see a couple more quarters to go like 20 or 30 of them all right so that right there was the last of them that was 500 quarters at once and i saved like 50 of them just in case this doesn't do anything so i will release that skill stop button in three two one oh my goodness what's going to happen come on big money nice we got that quarter pyramid to go sweet Wow, we might get a couple more pushes out of it. Come on, big money. Nice. Got a bunch of quarters on that push right there. All right, so now let's start putting in those extra 50 quarters. Oh my goodness, that was a nice push right there. Well, that right there was the last of our quarters. And check that out. We're about to get that quarter tower on the right. Come on, big money. Oh my gosh, check that out. There's a brown mystery bag in there. Sweet. So let me go collect some quarters real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. You all are not going to believe this. Check this out. There was two golden dice hidden in there. I have no idea where those were hidden at. They're probably hidden inside that quarter tower. Oh my goodness, did a couple more of them fall out of there? My goodness, check this out. We got two more of them, so it's confirmed they are some gold dice hidden inside that tower. Hoping there's some more than four of them. So if you don't know what those gold dice are for, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, the gold will multiply by that number. Oh my goodness. Wow, that gold tower's about to go. Same thing for both of them quarter towers. Especially that one on the right. Oh my goodness. Wow, there it goes. Holy macaroni. My goodness, that was an outstanding avalanche right there. That completely destroyed both of them quarter towers. We got that massive tower of gold to crash down. Goodness gracious, I'd say that was every bit of 200, 250 ounces of gold. Wow, and I completely forgot to point out what what all they had in there today. Well, there was enormous tower of gold, which y'all just seen that fall down. There was a quarter pyramid up front, two quarter high towers on the play field, and there's like five thousand dollar chips towers right there with quarter pyramids on top of those. I haven't seen anything like that before. That's pretty unique, ain't it? And there's all kinds of $10,000 chip towers on the blue shelves. They got $1,000 chip towers way back there. There's yellow and red chips. Those are the $1,000 chips. And they got two mystery bags on top of that. Purple one on the right side and the blue one on the left. Might be able to win those towers on the blue shelves later on. We'll have to wait and see if they have anything good and valuable in there. So, if I'm not mistaken, we just got a brown mystery bag. But check that out. That loot chute is severely clogged up. Look at all that gold and those chips and quarters stuck in there. So let's try to figure out what's clogging it up and we'll try to get it cleared out. 
you all are not going to believe this. Check this out. There was four white dice hidden in there and another gold dice. And we also got this brown mystery bag. So I will open up that brown mystery bag after this bowl of quarters right here. So let's try to get some of these other towers to go. Try to get all that remaining gold out of there. Then we'll open up that brown mystery bag. So anyhow, that last round was incredibly successful. We made a tremendous amount of money. I'd say we got like 700 grand in chips and $5,000 chips. And my goodness, we got a truckload of gold now. I'd say, I think we pulled like 214 ounces of gold on that first round. And we got a boatload of quarters. I think we got about 12, 1300 quarters now. So that should be more than enough quarters to get it all cleared out of there today. And who knows, there might be something else hidden in there to give us a bunch more quarters. Because sometimes they'll put a $1 chip in there, and if we win that, get to cash it in, that will give us an extra 500 quarters. So let's just hope that's in there today. It's always nice to see those. And also, I forgot to mention this, those white dice, if you don't know what those are for, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by that number. Like I said earlier, the gold dice we get to roll them, whatever they land on, the gold will multiply by that amount. But the white dice, those multiply our winnings. And we got four of the white dice and five of the gold dice so far. Oh yeah, check that out. We're about to get this massive tower. $5,000 chips. Nice, we got it. I'd say that was at least like 300 grand right there. Maybe a little bit more than that, actually. Still got a pretty good ways to go to make that 20 million dollars back but this is a phenomenal start to the game today already got a bunch of quarters and I'd say we've at least made goodness all those gold dice land on some pretty big numbers I'd say it might be a new record win for the gold today and the gold bars last time I remembered but the last time I checked I think they were about like goodness what was it $1930 an ounce not really sure what the spot price of gold is today. If somebody can let me know the exact spot price of gold down in the comments, I would highly appreciate that. And I think we just got another one of those uh, $5,000 chip towers on the left corner to go. That is awesome sauce. This is pushing incredibly well. Getting so many quarters back. Like, look at that. It's just a waterfall of quarters. Every single push. Doing amazing today. So I'd say we got about 120 quarters left in the bowl, something around that, maybe a little bit less. So like I said a second ago, after we run out of these quarters, I'll go ahead and open up that brown mystery bag. I always like to open up the mystery bags like right as we win them, just to see if there's anything beneficial in there. So we only got two quarters left, let's try them on the right hand side, there's a bunch of quarters hanging off the pusher. Oh yeah, big push, come on. Nice, we turned those two quarters into like three or four dollars on that push right there. That is absolutely excellent. So now let's go ahead and open up that brown mystery bag. All right, here it is. So let's go ahead and open it up and see if there's anything good and valuable and beneficial in there. Feels pretty heavy, so let's see what we get. Oh my goodness, nice, check this out. So we got two of the tiny dice. I will explain what those are for here in just a second. And we got a $5 chip, a $1 chip, a $50 chip, and a $10 chip. So let's go ahead and start off by explaining the $5 chip. If you don't know what this is for, we get to cash this in. They will take all of those towers that are on the blue shelves and they'll put them into the play field somewhere. So I will cash that in later on. And this $1 chip, like I was saying earlier, we get to cash this in. They will give me an extra 500 quarters. So, I will cash that in here in just a few minutes. And we also got this $50 chip. If you don't know what this is for, we get to cash this in at the end of the game. They will take anything that's fallen down the side slots and they'll put it back into the play field. But y'all can't see the side slots at the moment because all those towers and those pyramids are blocking the view. And anyhow, I'll cash that in at the end of the game. And this $10 chip, if you don't know what this is for, we get to cash it in. And we actually get to spin a wheel, and it has all these different types of chip values on it. For example, $5,000 chips, $10,000 chips, $1,000 chips. It even goes as high as $25,000 chips. 
and it goes as low as $10 chips. So we get to spin that wheel, and whatever it lands on, that's what type of brand new tower they'll build in the play field. So we're gonna get a free tower out of this. I just hope it can land on $25,000 chips. That'd be amazing. And these two tiny dice, each one of these is a five times multiplier. So both of these combined, that is 10 times my winnings. We don't get to roll these at the end of the game. Uh, these other white dice that we won, these are the ones we get to roll at the end of the game. And whatever those four dice land on, just add 10 to that because that's a five times multiplier and that's a five times multiplier. So it's not bad, not bad at all. That mystery bag was loaded up incredibly well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cash in the 10 and the $1 chip. We get to spin that wheel and whatever it lands on, they will build that tower somewhere in the play field. And for this, they will give me an extra 500 quarters. Let me call them over here real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, A and B Queen Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that 10 and $1 chip. They gave me an extra 500 quarters. And I got to spin that wheel. And today it landed on $5,000 chips. So as you can see, they built a massive tower of $5,000 chips. Back there on the pusher. It's already getting pretty close to the edge, about to crash down. So wish me good luck. Hopefully we can get it all cleared out of there now. There's still tons of $5,000 chip towers on the sides. Those might take a while to crash down, but I'm not going to give up on them today. Not going to stop till we have the whole entire machine cleared out today. Oh yeah, tower's almost there. It's really, really close to the edge. Come on, big money. I'll tell you what, let's use that skill stop button and load up a bunch of quarters at once. Because that always seems to be the best technique whenever the towers are pretty close to the edge. So let's put like two or three hundred of them in there. Probably two hundred would be the best option. So one more handful and I will release that skill stop. Alright, let's see. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, it's almost there. That second wave might be a win. Nice, we got it. That is the best technique ever right there. Definitely, that is just incredible. And check that out. That uh, $5,000 chip tower and pyramid on the right side's moving a little bit. Oh yeah, see that? Oh yeah, that tower right there is about to go. Check that out. So I think we should be pushing on that left-hand side because look at how much further the right side has moved compared to the left side. So it's best to keep both sides moving evenly and equally. So we're going to push on that left-hand side. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but we got around, let's see, what was it? A little over 2,000 quarters now since I cashed in that $1 chip. So that is a bunch of quarters right there. I'd say you could probably play up to 8 to 10 hours on 2,000 quarters before you even get low even a little bit. So 2,000 quarters is awesome. So I'm going to try my best to get these other towers on the sides, and if we can't get them to fall in the next like, couple more bowls of quarters, I will go ahead and cash in the $5 chip. So stay tuned for that. All right, well that right there was the last of the quarters. Let's go collect some quarters real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I'm gonna try like two or three more bowls of quarters and try to get these towers on the left and the right side to fall down. And if something happens we can't get them, I will cash in that $5 chip and they'll move all those other towers that are on the blue shelf to the play field. So, there's actually quite a few ways I could win all those towers that are on the blue shelves. Well, today we got that $5 chip, so we get to cash that in. We'll move all them towers to the play field for free. And another way I could win them towers is if they have a red earbud in there. And it's technically the same thing as that $5 chip. Except it's an earbud. And we get to cash that in. They'll move them towers to the play field. And if those, if a $5 chip and red earbud was not in there today, I would have to pay two times the original buy-in. And they would move all those towers that are on the blue shelves to the play field. So that would be a $40 million buy-in to get the blue shelves cleared off. And it'd be a $60 million buy-in in total since I've already invested $20 million to play this game. It's what it costed to buy in. And another way I could win all those towers on the blue shelves is if I stack the quarters up real high 
back there on the pusher and if say those thousand dollar chip towers was hanging over the blue shelf just a little bit onto the pusher if I stack the quarters up real high I would have a good chance of trick shotting those towers into the play field but as you can see those towers are nowhere near the edge of the pusher so that wouldn't work out today and plus that wouldn't even help us win these ten thousand dollar chip towers so that first method ain't really a good way to get them towers it's not the best option on the table in other words but luckily today we got that five dollar chip so those towers on the blue shelves are covered so anyway hope y'all are doing good and having an awesome day so far Remember, if you're new around here and you enjoy these videos, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the post bell notifications, that way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. But help out tremendously, we're on the road to 125,000 subscribers. My goal is to get to 125,000 by August the 15th, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, let's try to get 5,000 likes on today's video. 5,000 likes. I know we can do that. Just need everyone watching to hit that like button. I tell you what, if this video can get 5,000 likes within the first day of it being uploaded, I will do a $150 million buy-in tomorrow. Yes, you heard me right. $150 million buy-in. That'll make the biggest buy-in I've ever done before, so... Y'all can get me to 5,000 likes within the first day of this video right here being uploaded. I promise you all, I'll do a $150 million buy-in tomorrow. Trust me, you will want to see that $150 million buy-in. It's going to be the most intense game I've ever played because it's the most amount of money I've ever spent. So, we only got a couple quarters left in the bowl. Right there was the last of them, so let's see what it does. Come on, massive push! Sweet, we just got a bunch of quarters back. Let me go collect some quarters real quick and we'll get right back to it. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it going. So I'll probably try like one more bowl of quarters after this one right here. If it doesn't get those $5,000 chip towers and quarter pyramids to fall, go ahead and cash in that $5 chip. So stay tuned for that. I know a lot of y'all are probably getting bored right about now since those towers on the sides ain't really moving. So just try to bear with me for a little bit, and I'll try to get these towers to go. I always like to try my best to get these towers to fall before I cash in the $5 chip. Don't like giving up too easily. Come on, massive push, give me something. My goodness, check that tower out over there. It's like hanging three-fourths of the way off the edge now. Thing is incredibly close. So we really, really need that left-hand side to start moving. Oh yeah, that tower right there just moved forward a little bit more. Come on, big money. We're going to drop the quarters on the floor. We'll pick those up here in just a second. So anyhow, getting back to what I was saying about hitting that like button and subscribing. It is 100% free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't get paid for you all hitting that subscribe button or hitting that like button. I mean, in reality, it just makes it a million percent easier for you all to keep up with the future videos. Because once you hit that subscribe button, there should be a bell icon right next to it. If you hit that bell icon, it will give you the option to turn on all notifications. And if you turn on all notifications, you will get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. And I pretty much upload videos seven days a week, so don't miss out on any amazing content. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe button. And turn on the post bell notifications, that way you get those notifications every single time I post new videos. Like I said, I don't get paid for it, it's just to help you all out. Help you all keep up with the videos. Well, these towers aren't really moving too good at the moment. I'm surprised that $5,000 chip tower on the right hand side hasn't fallen over the edge yet. That's been like really close to the edge for the past like 10 or 20 minutes now. And I've probably been playing, let's see what the camera says, 56 minutes and 38 seconds. 
so I've been playing pretty close to an hour now. For you all, I've probably only been playing like 20 minutes, but I like to edit out most of the video because most of it's just boring, to be honest with you, because it's nothing but quarters falling down. And it takes, goodness, sometimes 20 minutes to an hour just to get it going. Luckily, an hour's pretty good because most of the time I've normally be playing like two or three hours. Nice, we got that tower on the left hand side to go. That is awesome sauce right there. Now I'm surprised that tower on the left side fell before that one on the right. That is crazy. The one on the right is super, super close. I don't even know how it's hanging on there. I think those quarters on top of it are holding it up. It's the only thing possible, really. Alright, so we got like five, six quarters left in the bowl. Let's throw them in there. Oh, nice. A bunch more of them fell out. Alright, so let me go collect the quarters real quick, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and Coin Pusher has her turn. Let's get right back to it. So I'm going to try like maybe four or five hundred more quarters and see if we can't get these other towers moving. And if that don't get these towers to get going, we'll go ahead and cash in that five dollar chip. This is going to be the last round right here no matter what, so like I said a second ago, just bear with me. I know it might be a little bit boring, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth the wait once all those towers get moved to the play field. Then it's going to be nothing but towers crashing down. Oh yeah, those quarters on top of that $5,000 chip tower on the right are falling off there pretty well. Oh yeah, check that out. A couple more of them just fell. Alright, so probably like two or three more pushes and we'll be ready to cash in that $5 chip. Come on, big win. Give me something. Yeah, that tower out there is getting pretty close, but I don't think we're going to get it with like another push or two. So this right here is going to be the last push. That was like probably 80 quarters at once. Come on, big money. Alright, so I'm going to go cash in that $5 chip real quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty, a and Coin Pusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $5 chip. They took all those towers that was on the blue shelves and they put all of them into the play field. And those extra like four towers that was on the left and the right side that was being a little bit stubborn, they just put all four of those towers right there in the center. Oh my goodness, nice. We got that massive tower that was back there on the pusher to crash down. And it completely destroyed all of those towers that was up front well most of them anyway wow that is absolutely exceptional this has been a brilliant game today so far those two mystery bags those are in safe spots they're back there on the pusher oh yeah that was a wonderful push right there making out like a bandit today that's for sure come on big money give me something Oh yeah, sweet. We got that $5,000 chip tower that was up front. And those $2,000 chip towers in the back. Nice, there they go. I told you it'd be worth the wait. My goodness, this tower's crashing down left and right, center, everywhere. Get that loot chute cleared out. It's getting pretty piled up. And it's not good to let that loot chute get too full because a lot of times if the loot chute gets too full, money will start to fall to the house. It will go to the same place as those gutters will. See how we're about to lose some chips down through there? My goodness, look at all three of those towers right there on the edge. That's like a million dollars we're about to get, possibly. Oh yeah, all those yellow and red chips, those are the thousand dollar chips. Nice, we got one of them ten thousand dollar chip towers. Nice, two of them. About to get another one on the right. Oh my goodness, there it goes. Sweet, we got three of them. That is absolutely outstanding. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at all those thousand dollar chips on the edge. Wow, we're also about to get that purple mystery bag on the right. Nice, we got it. Let's get that loot chute cleared out again. My goodness, this is a truckload of chips laying on the floor. So it normally takes me about half an hour to separate the chips from the quarters and stuff. And we have to put all the chips into a great big old box. 
and we have to cash those in at the end of the game. That's how we can trade those in for cash. And I forgot to mention this, we have to separate the chips also. Like in one box, in one section of the box there's thousand dollar chips. Then the other section there's five thousand dollar chips. And the other one ten thousand dollar chips. Or whatever type of chips that they have in there that particular day. That's where we have to arrange the chips at. We have to take it over there to them and cash them in. My goodness, won't be long, we'll have it all cleared out of there. Looks like we lost a thousand dollars to the blue shell. So I don't think it would be worth paying an extra hundred grand to get that back. How's luck? Those dice would have to end up multiplying my winnings by a hundred. Which I don't even think that's possible. There'd have to be like so many dice in there for my winnings to end up multiplying by a hundred. So I think we're just going to leave that thousand dollars on the blue shelf today. I'm not going to pay that extra hundred grand to get it back. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters. Let me collect some quarters real quick, and we'll try to get all them remaining thousand dollar chips out of there. I'll be right back. Alrighty, AMD Coin Pusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So that last round was a huge success. We made a tremendous amount of money. I think we made over like five and a half million dollars in chips. So that is absolutely phenomenal right there. And we got a boatload of quarters now. I think we got about, let's see, what was it? I think it was a little over 2,000 quarters. So we definitely have enough quarters to get it all cleared out of there today. And we also won two mystery bags. We got a blue mystery bag and a purple mystery bag. I will open up both of them mystery bags after we win those remaining thousand dollar chips on the right side out of there. So stay tuned for that. We'll open them up together. And after we open up those mystery bags, I will cash in that $50 chip. Like I said earlier, I'm not going to worry about paying that extra hundred grand to get that thousand dollars put back into the play field. I'm just going to leave that over there today. And I can try to trick shot it into the play field using the quarters. So I might try to do that later on. We'll see. Only a thousand dollars left to win. Let's get it. Oh yeah, it's right there on the edge. Just drop those quarters in at the wrong time, unfortunately. Oh yeah, big push. Come on. Oh my goodness, it's hanging more than halfway over the edge. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely spectacular. So now I'm going to open up both of those mystery bags. Right here they are. So I think we're going to start with this blue mystery bag right here. Both of them are extremely heavy, so let's we'll see if there's anything good and valuable in there. Let's see, what do we get? Oh my goodness, nice, we got a bunch of $5,000 chips. Let's count these up real quick. 10 grand, 20 grand, 30 grand, 40 grand, 50 grand. We got 50 grand and $5,000 chips. It's not bad, not bad at all. I'll take it. So now let's go ahead and move on to the purple mystery bag. This one feels about the same, same weight, so see if there's anything really good and valuable in this one. Oh my goodness, there's a bunch of stuff in there. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. So we got a bunch of $10,000 chips. Let's see, how much did we get? We got $50,000, $100,000 in $10,000 chips. Yeah, this might be a new record win today. Who knows? So that $150,000 we just got in those mystery bags, if all those dice land on pretty good numbers, that might be like a couple million dollars. You never know. So now I'm going to go ahead and cash in this $50 chip. They will take everything that we've lost to those side slots and they'll put it back into the play field. Let me call them over here real quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty, AMV Coin Busher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $50 chip. They took everything that's falling down those side slots. They put it all back into the play field. Looks like they combined most of it into lock. Six ginormous towers. So we're already about to get a couple of them towers to crash down. Nice, we got that one on the right side. I was worried that one would be really, really difficult to win, but it's one of the first towers to fall down. Sweet, we got that gold tower also. We're also about to get that tower out there in the center. Come on, bring me the money. And check that out, There's there was a dice behind that tower. So, I don't know if someone else lost that dice or if I lost that dice. 
and it turns out they did not empty out their loot box at all today. So most of these towers and chips that you're seeing in there is stuff that other people have lost besides lots playing these games today. Oh nice, that tower that was stuck out there in the center fell on down into the loot chute. Let's get that loot chute cleared out real quick. It's already starting to get pretty full. And it looks like we lost about... 5, 10 ounces of gold to the blue shell. So, if we win that red earbud, check that out. See how there's a red earbud on top of that tower? Nice, we just got it. And a boatload of five and $10,000 chips. Wow, that is exceptional right there. So, I get the cash in that red earbud. They will take all those gold bars and they'll put them back into the play field. And same thing for that tower right there. See how they put one of them towers on the blue shelves? I'll move that to the playfield also. And I don't really understand why they put a tower on the blue shelf today. Because there was plenty, plenty of room in there to build another tower in the playfield. I mean, it's alright, I guess. Because it's still going to make out like a bandit, I'd say. I'm about to get this massive tower of $10 chips right there. And if you haven't seen those blue chips before, those are the $10 chips. So. Come on, bring me the money. Nice push, come on. Oh yeah, there's tons of five dollars $10,000 chips on the edge. Boatload of gold on that right side also. Really, really close. Oh yeah, this tower right there, it's about to go. Keep a close eye on that. Nice, we got a bunch of gold on the right. I think we might end up losing a gold bar down to the gutter there, unfortunately. Yeah, we lost it. So, that right there was the last of our quarters. Let me go collect some quarters real quick, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So, let's try to get that other remaining tower to go super, super close to the edge. Come on, big money. Oh, my goodness. Check that out. It's like came more than halfway over, three-fourths of the way over, probably. Wow, that is super, super close. Nice, we got that tower to crash down. Sweet. And we got that right-hand side all cleared out. So let's get those remaining chips on the left. Then I will cash in that red earbud, and we'll take all that stuff that we lost to the blue shelf, and we'll put it back into the play field. And they'll also take that tower and put it into the play field somewhere. So stay tuned for that. More exciting gameplay coming right up. Oh yeah, that right there is about to go. Check that out. Come on, big win. That's like $5,030, I think. Nice, there we go. I think there's only like 30 or 40 grand. Not 30 or 40 grand, but like 30 or 40 dollars. I got those $10 chips mixed up with the $10,000 chips. I wish it was $10,000 chips, but I'll take $10 chips. Because keep in mind, most of this money that was in there was bonus money. Most of that money is stuff that other people have lost playing these games today. So I'd say I might have lost maybe 2% of what was in there. Just a couple chips, maybe a couple gold bars, and that's about it. And also, I completely forgot to point this out earlier. Do you remember that $1,000 chip? that was on that right hand side that we accidentally lost whenever I first cashed in that five dollar chip. I think the staff just took it out of the machine. They just took it with them. So I didn't really think that was fair because then that doesn't give us a chance of trick shotting it into the play field. I mean, I won't hold it against them because it was a new worker today. Nice, we got it all cleared out of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cash in that red earbud real quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So I cashed in that red earbud. They took all that gold that we lost to the blue shelf and that tower on the left side and they put it back into the play field. So, and also that staff member that took that thousand dollar chip off the blue shelf earlier, I think she realized she made a mistake and she put that thousand dollar chip back there. So that was pretty generous. So anyhow, let's get right back to pushing. Oh nice, we got that tower to crash down. Sweet. One more tower to go. Let's get it. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's tons of quarters on the edge. Speaking of quarters, we still got about 1,800 of them. So pretty close to 2,000 of them. So I think we should be playing across the whole field for now. Especially on that right hand side because we don't want any of that gold to end up going over there on the corner. Because then it'll be really, really difficult to win. So I think if we keep it pushing on that right side and in the center and on the left, I think we'll get it all cleared out of there within the next couple of minutes. I'm hoping so anyway. Because I've been playing for about 2 hours and 30 minutes now. Let's see what the camera says. 2 hours, 27 minutes, and 13 seconds. So, I've been playing a long time. And there's been times I played up to like eight and a half hours before, or I mean seven and a half hours, trying to win towers that was on the sides. Like, remember those $5,000 chips that was being stubborn earlier with those quarter pyramids on top of them? Yeah, I played seven and a half hours trying to win towers on the sides before. But luckily, this has been a pretty easy game today. Nice, we got it, got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely outstanding. This has been a brilliant game today. Absolutely brilliant. So now I'm going to call them back here. I think we've won 10 dice in total. We got 5 gold dice and 5 white dice. And we also got 2 of the tiny dice. So this is 10 times our winnings right here. So I'm going to call them back here. They will put all 10 of these dice back there on the pusher. we got to roll them on down to that lower shelf. Whatever they land on, get to multiply our winnings and our gold by that amount. So let me call them over here real quick, and we'll get right back to it. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So I called them back here. They put all 10 of those dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they'll end on some enormous numbers. And if any of those dice lands on a 1, it would be a 0. The ones do not count at all. So we went on everything from 2 to 6. Well, those are some fabulous numbers so far. The gold dice are landing on pretty good numbers. And that 2 on the right side looks like it might flip over to a 6. Really, really hope it does. And it looks like we got two ones on the left, unfortunately. That ain't no good. Well, we got two more dice to roll. Nice, that one landed on a 3. Let's see what that remaining white dice lands on. And also, whatever the white dice total up to after that one rolls down to the lower shelf, uh, just add 10 to those because that's a 5 times multiplier and that is a 5 times multiplier. Well, let me click some quarters real quick. I completely forgot to click some quarters. I just need a couple of them. Just enough to get that dice to roll down to the lower shelf. Come on, big numbers. Yeah, I really, really wish that uh, 2 on the right side would flip over to a 6 trying to check that out you can see the six now if I'm not mistaken they would probably count that as a six because it's like landing on more of a six now than it is a two so that is amazing I will ask them about that in just a second but that's about the max we can push though because as you can see those dice are getting pretty close to the edge and if any of those dice were to fall down the side slots or over the edge they would become duds we wouldn't win them at all so that's not bad, not bad at all. All those dice landed on some pretty good numbers, except for those two ones right there. So I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our goal by all that, and I'll let y'all know what we've won back from a $20 million buy-in. I'll be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely phenomenal. I ended up winning $12,463,260 in chips. And all of those white dice combined, including the ones on the blue shelves, ended up multiplying my winnings by 28. And in total, I ended up winning $348,971,280 from a $20 million buy. And that is absolutely outstanding. That's another huge life-changing jackpot win right there absolutely mind-blowing and on top of that we won 268 ounces of gold and all those gold dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 15 and in total I ended up winning 4,020 ounces of gold today and those are around $1,930 a piece so that's not bad not bad at all for a 20 million dollar buy-in 
So if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you leave a like and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications, that way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care and have an awesome day.